Over 250 people are dead and thousands of military members have been arrested in an attempted coup against Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan. Though he was on vacation at the time, Erdogan reached the media through FaceTime and urged his supporters into the streets of Ankara and Istanbul. Now, the increasingly authoritarian president is likely to use the botched coup attempt as pretext to continue consolidating power. We don't know yet who is behind the plot, but a faction within the military issued a statement saying that they sought to, quote, reinstate constitutional order, human rights, and freedom. They call themselves the Peace at Home Council. That's a reference to Mustafa Kemal Ataturk, the military officer who established Turkey's secular state from the ashes of the old Ottoman Empire in 1923. Since Turkey's founding, the military has seen itself as defenders of the secular and democratic principles of Kemalism. So, whenever the nation's political order was challenged, the military would intervene. But the latest attempt didn't appear to have the full support of military leaders, which is likely one reason it failed. Erdogan is blaming the latest coup attempt on Gulenists, the followers of exiled Sunni cleric Fethullah Gulen, who now lives in Pennsylvania. Once an ally to Erdogan, Gulen's media outlets have accused the president of corruption. And in response, Erdogan seized Gulen's media assets and labeled his sizable political party a terrorist movement. Now, Erdogan is calling for the US to arrest and extradite Gulen, who in turn alleges that Erdogan himself staged the whole thing. There may not be an appetite for military coups among Turks today, but Erdogan is increasingly unpopular. As prime minister for 11 years before being elected president in 2014, he has pushed for constitutional changes that would grant him more power. And he's also cracked down on domestic protests and prosecuted dissenting academics and journalists. This guy was even put on trial for photoshopping Erdogan next to Gollum from Lord of the Rings. And the fact that he built himself a thousand-room palace didn't calm concerns that he's got plans for long-term rule. A publicly religious man, Erdogan raised eyebrows among Turkey's staunch secularists with school reforms that expanded Islamic education. And he's been criticized for allowing Turkey's southern border with Syria to remain porous. This has made Turkey an entry point for ISIS fighters. The European Union may have some leverage to encourage reform since Turkey has long sought to join the Union. But Turkey's political stability is vital. Europe depends on Erdogan to help manage the ongoing Syrian refugee crisis. And the US uses air bases there to stage bombing raids against ISIS in Syria. But right now, Turkey's first order of business will be to re-establish political order. Early indications from Erdogan and his allies suggest his methods will not be democratic in nature. <laughs>